Lesson 10-6, page 354 from your math journal. Number one, use the graph below to find the x and y coordinates each point for each point shown. So here we have the x and the y's. Then enter the x and y values on this table. Okay, so we have to go ahead and identify. Remember, it's always x and then y. So the first one, I see that we have a 5, and it does not go up at all, so it's 5 and 0. 0, it remains on 0 on the y-axis, because it does not go up. So we go ahead and write x value is 5, y is 0. Locate the next one, 4 and 1. 4 and 1. And then we have... 2 and 3, right over here, so value has been given to us, 2 and 3, but we're missing 3 and 2. So we can go ahead and write that down too, 3 and 2. And then finally, 1 and 4. Well, actually there's more than 1. 1, 4, and Go ahead and write this one. It doesn't go horizontally at all, so it remains there, but it does go up by 5. Go ahead and write that one on your own. Number 2. Let's go ahead and zoom in here and let's read this first. Follow along, please. Eli is, a ten, year, is 10 years old and can run an average of 5 yards per second. His sister Lupita is seven and can run an average of four yards per second. So we see that Eli is faster because he can run five yards in one second. Lupita can run four yards in one second. He's also older. So she's a little bit slower. Eli and Lupita have a 60-yard race. Because Lupita is younger and also slower, Eli gives her a 10-yard head start. A head start means you can start ahead. Now that we understand the differences or the different rates, a rate is how something progresses with time compared to time. Now that we know the different rates between Eli and Lupita, we need to complete the table showing the distances Eli and Lupita are from the starting line after one second, two seconds, three, and so on. Use the table to answer the questions below. So we take a look at the table on the side, okay? And let's go ahead and fill it out. So we understand that Eli can run five yards. Is it five yards? Yes, five yards per second. And Lupita can only run four yards per second. So after five seconds, we know that Eli will have ran five yards and Lupita will ran four so we just have to add in the four to the ten and it makes it fourteen okay and so on go ahead and continue so up to two seconds Eli will have ran ten and Lupita eighteen so go ahead fill those out and answer the questions A, B, and C let's look at those together you can pause the video here to complete the table. So after 12 seconds of running, who reaches the 60 yards first? So who wins the race? Okay, if you are counting correctly, you should know who wins the race. That person reaches 60 first. What is the winning time? Boys and girls, the winning time is 12 seconds. By 12 seconds, the winner had reached 60 yards. And for C, who was in the lead during most of the race? So who was leading the race? Who was ahead most of the time? If you look at the graph, you will notice that Lupita 
was ahead right up until the 10 second mark and only in the last two seconds where she passed. So make sure that here you write Lupita. And when you write Lupita, I want you to write little, little Lupita. And this will show me that you watch the video. Include the stars too, if you want. On the next page, you have to graph your results for Eli and Lupita. So we must look at the numbers first. We understand that Eli starts at zero. Let's make Eli black. So Eli starts right here at, the, at zero. And he advances, after one second, he advances by five. Okay, after two seconds, he goes up to 10. Okay, and then after three seconds, he goes up to 15 and so on. Lupita advances by uh, four yards per second. Let's make Lupita a different color, perhaps blue. But we understand that she starts at 10, right over here. She doesn't start from zero. She gets a head start and she only goes up four, about there. Okay, and then she goes up to 18 at the two second mark, 18, about there, or maybe a little bit higher. It's kind of hard to do on the iPad. But go ahead and continue to graph those. And it should look something like this. Now mine is not exact, because if you look at the 10 second, they were both at 50 during the 10 second mark. So right here is where they both should cross right exactly at 50, and mine doesn't. So that's a small mistake on mine. But you do see that at the 11 second mark, Eli passes, the 11 second mark passes Lupita. And then you can see who wins the race at the 12 second mark. Please go ahead and add a small key on the top right. Here's an example of one key. Eli is black and Lupita is blue. Boys and girls, I will also know that you watch the full video if you have this key on the top right. This is also a key answer. Please add it. And for the last questions, 4 and 5, A, B, C, please answer them. How many yards apart are Eli and Lupita after 7 seconds? If I go back to my graph, and I look at seven seconds, I can see that they're only three yards apart. Three yards. Suppose Eli and Lupita race for 75 yards instead of 60 yards. So let's pretend they went, the race ends at 75 yards rather than 60. So they go on for, looks like another three seconds. Okay. Who would you expect to win? Well, at 60 yards, Eli already had the lead. So would he continue to have the lead after 75? How long would the race last? Okay, how long would it last? It lasted 12 seconds before. How many more fives are there from 60 to 75? That will tell you how many more seconds Eli ran. And... Finally, how far ahead would the winner be at the finish line? So boys and girls, go back to the graph and just continue on for another three seconds until you get to until Eli gets to 75 yards. And you will find that Eli ran. How far ahead would the winner be? He would win by a net five yards. Okay, because for every second is one extra yard. Okay, boys and girls, see you in class.